So we are ready to start our press conference and the game between two leaders, Ho Yifan and Zhu Wenjun, just uh, finished in a draw. Uh, so let's check what happened in this game. Um, is it better white or black? Let's... Oh, yes, okay. I know that for you doesn't matter, so <laughs> white. Yes, mm -hmm. I think it's just around equal uh, at some point. Well, especially when white pushed d5, it should have been... It should be like uh, totally equal. Yeah. So I think it was some unknown game, known game here. Yes. Um, yes. You were following. There's some theory here. Uh huh. To which moment did you know this? Well, it's just a, a structure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Minjun, what what would you like to add about this uh, this game? Well, I I think this position is. Well, uh, Solid for both mm -hmm. sides, and uh, okay. And after, after I, think D I think D5. Uh, I'm not sure with uh, this move, okay, D8. Because if takes, queen takes, and uh, I don't know about this end game, which one is better. If I takes, takes, and rook C5, now you can choose between rook D2 or B6. Like, go take this one. I don't know who is better. Here. And after he takes, okay, of course, uh, black is also okay, but... Uh, uh, but you had feeling it can be problems for you in that variation? Uh, well, I, I was not sure about this position. Uh -huh. Ah, so you, you don't need to take it, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, this it takes my c6, I think black is also fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Actually, it seems you didn't do any possible mistake, so it's not easy to ask even any question about this <laughs> game. <laughs> you just played perfect from both sides. And um, what do you think about your current situation in the, in the tournament? And uh, are you satisfied with this draw, both of you? It's okay. It's a normal game, as you said. We didn't make any mistakes. So mm -hmm. the quality is, from quality side, it's okay. And the, the tournament is more or less fine. Good to work. <laughs> Actually, uh, people started uh, paying attention that you came very close uh, by rating points uh, to Judith Polgar. And yesterday it was like um, you had a live rating 2,672 uh, and she has now oh. 2,675. So did you pay attention to this and did you think about it? I heard some, of course, but I didn't really pay attention or focus on this trying to get over because uh, I just hope my rating could be higher, and but I didn't think to overcome anybody. I, I, but uh, will it matter for you something if you actually catch uh, Judith Bogger and become first in at least woman rating list? Well, of course. Is it important uh, or not? <laughs> of course, I would be happy if I achieved that, but uh, that's not the most important thing for me because. I, how to say, many focus on my play and also her rating right now, it, it's not her best rating from the mm -hmm. history and also from the old period and now the rating has some difference. I mean, nowadays the highest is 800, 800 but mm -hmm. previously it's like 700, so there's also some difference. Yeah, so what, when you will feel that you're really the first one in the world, after which point, <laughs> let's say, in rating? <laughs> I think oh. her rating, the, the biggest one, the highest one, was like 730 something, if, if I'm not mistaken. Not sure, but... Yeah, but something like this. She was, yes. when she was in top 10, right? Yes, so, yes. So, uh, what do you think? You should be in top 10 <laughs> in this case? Wow. Well, <laughs> uh, for this, I don't think right now, because you, you see, now I'm still a far distance from mm -hmm. that. So, just trying to get in, improve step by step to mm -hmm. be, okay, at least closer. Uh, what do you think about uh, this, uh, girls, both of you? What do you think about this news that uh, Judith Bolger retired from the professional chess? Have you read about it? And yes, yes, I heard. Looks like it's serious because everywhere there's report. But mm -hmm. okay, I can understand and uh, not really surprised. You would also do this in this uh, when you reach this level. Or well, but actually, you know, I think that surprised? for chess players, there's no re really retire not uh, yes. compare with the other sports because we're using more mind to play so mm -hmm. that's why if you're gonna how to say to 
we can keep on yeah, playing. Yeah, you can replay again. Yeah. yeah. Ah, so At maybe she'll time come back. You want? <laughs> well, I just yeah. say like this yeah. because as I heard that Wally Hu has a re- uh, quick chess before, but now he's still playing and also playing. Uh, so yes, yes, so he didn't say the truth maybe. <laughs> wow, just uh, <laughs> to all from of us. time to time, yes. maybe he changed his mind. Mm-hmm. So that can also happen to other chess players, I think. I see. Okay, Evan uh, what can you say about it? Um, what? About Judith Polgar retirement and uh, from professional chess. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, I agree with uh, Hui Fan, and uh, okay, I I like her games, and uh, well, it, it will be okay. Uh, I don't know, like a pity thing that she retired. But uh, okay, maybe she will play some rapid games uh, in the future. I don't know. Yeah. Did you feel actually pity when you heard this news, or just normal thing? Mm, be honest, I don't have uh, too much special feelings about this news. Mm-hmm. But of course, I mean. Uh, I don't know. It's. I mean, of course, it's difficult to say. But I mean, I'm, I'm older than you, so for me, she was like an idol, you know, yes, the yes. one who pushed women chess on such a high level. Yeah, of course. So I don't know. I felt a little bit sad, but yes, I'm not if sure. If she can stay um, to keep playing more, to encourage more people, mm-hmm. that's for sure. Yes. But uh, well, I think it's also we can understand her choice. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I understand your point. Okay, so thank you very much for coming and um, giving out your comments. Thank you. Thank you.